like to introduce you to the Schneider Electric battery backup grid tied system with photovoltaic charging. This particular system provided by Schneider Electric is a 5048 inverter. That's a 5000 watt inverter set at a 48 volt battery voltage. The display screen here, the display screen here is your is your sight and vision into what the system is doing. It tells you real time data, also gives you harvest logs and fault warnings and any fault information, uh, but also gives you just status of everything going on with the particular system. The uh, power distribution panel, this is where our electrical connections are made at. Uh, at the top here, we have our inverter input, so that's the grid input into the inverter. And then we have two breakers. We have a grid bypass, and then we have our inverter out to our loads. We'll talk about that more in a minute. We also have our DC breakers here at the bottom. This is the uh, Connex XW MPPT 80 amp charging 600 volt charge controller. This charge controller is taking the PV voltage from the roof and amperage, converting it from 600 volts DC down to 48 volt DC and charging the batteries and then the display screen is smart enough to be able to take the excess energy from the solar that's not needed into the battery bank and sell that out to the grid. Here we have the existing garage panel, the garage sub panel. Garage sub panel contains all of the circuit breakers for the electric systems in the existing house. This down here is our critical load panel. Critical load panel will have power coming off of the AC output of the inverter system Critical load panel will have power all the time, even during a power outage when the existing garage panel goes out and the utility goes down, this panel will have no power. The AC system, the 240 volt loads, the bigger equipment will have no power, but the everything in the critical load panel will. This particular critical load panel is 12 circuit panel and we moved 8 circuits from here, where you can see the breaker blanks, we moved 8 circuits from the existing panel to our critical load panel. These critical loads are the fridge, the, the inside lighting, the paddle fans, the, the uh, deep freezer, the alarm system, garage lights, garage fans, the internet, TV, uh, microwave, anything that you feel as critical. You can put more circuits into this panel, but the more loads you put in this panel, the faster the system will deplete the batteries in a power outage. The AC input to the inverter is connected via the 60 amp 240 volt breaker. That is the AC input connection. This here is our battery bank. This enclosure is made by Midnight Solar. It's an MNBE-D. This enclosure is nice because it offers locking doors protects everything, keeps everything in a nice enclosure, plus on the sides has air vents to allow air to circulate. One of the most important things with the battery bank is keeping them cool, but also allowing air to flow and uh, keeping circulation. These batteries are sealed. They are valve regulated lead acid batteries. The, these batteries are 6 volts each, 335 amp hours. They are all wired into series. We have our positive up here, then we have jumpers going from the negative to the positive, negative to the positive, and then we have a jumper from here going to the negative to the positive to the bottom row, and our negative for the system is in this bottom breaker here. This wired in series 6 volts plus 6 volts plus 6 volts gives us a total of 48 volts at 335 amp hours. These batteries are sealed, however, there is possibility that during overcharging or any kind of an emergency, they could seep out some, some fluid and some of the hydrogen gas. That hydrogen gas buildup would be bad, so in our seal here, in our conduit up to our inverter, we seal that conduit on both sides, plus in our garage we have some ventilation that we added to allow any gases to, to remove. Typically in a normal situation, these will not gas because they're not flooded, but uh, you got to you have to figure for it just in case of emergencies.
Here in our power distribution panel, we have our all of our DC breakers. Here to the right, we have a 250 amp DC breaker. This breaker is the main input into the Schneider electric converter. Here we have three breakers that are tied together. First breaker is our PV string one disconnect. That is connected to the solar panels on the roof, our photovoltaic panels, string one. We have a second string, which is connected to PV2. And then this is our 80 amp charge controller breaker. This protects the wire, the wires coming from the charge controller that's going into the batteries. To be able to shut off and turn off the charging feature, you turn off the PV disconnect and charge controller, and that will stop charging to the system. Here we have our AC breakers located in the power distribution panel. The first breaker here in normal mode. I'll describe first here how to have the breakers in normal mode, which we have. The inverter, that's our AC input going to the inverter, that needs to be on. This AC breaker for the inverter needs to be on. Our grid bypass breaker needs to be off. And then our AC inverter one, that's our output to our critical load panel, needs to be on. So we have our AC input, we have our AC output, should be both on, and our grid bypass will be off. Next I'll demonstrate how to put the system into bypass. The reason for having the bypass is in case there's a problem with the inverter. If the inverter faults or there's some kind of a problem, you want to be able to continue to have power and voltage on your critical loads. So to put the system into bypass, you're going to turn on the grid bypass breaker. When we do that, this, this lever will actually push off of the AC output. So here we go. Now we are in grid bypass. You might have noticed that the lights flashed. The breaker turns this one off before it turns this one on, but it's very quick, just enough to have a little bit of a flicker. Then we can turn off the AC input into the inverter. Now, the system is in bypass mode. Our loads still have power, and the inverter has been disconnected. As I said previously, this system is grid tied, so we're going to export excess energy into the grid. The charge controller is going to take the solar from the roof, push it into the batteries. Excess energy from the batteries is going to go through the inverter, converter from 48 volts DC to 240 volt AC. That AC energy will first go into the critical load panel, power all of our loads. Excess energy will go out through our AC1 input to our 60 amp breaker and our existing garage panel here and it'll power all of the loads in the garage panel. In the event that there's more solar available than, than load needed in the house between the two panels, excess energy will be exported and sent out to the grid. That grid will, that energy will go out to the grid and will be transformed and go to the neighbors and be sold out to the utility company. In conclusion, this system is going to provide security and comfort knowing that your critical loads are going to be powered 24 hours a day, 7 days a week off of the battery system and the system during an outage can charge the batteries via the solar system. The solar panels during normal AC power can also continue to keep the batteries charged but excess energy can still power out to the grid. Thank you for taking the time to watch our video, and if you have any questions, you can check out our website at 3GuysSolar.com. Thank you very much.